All right, hi guys. Um, again, Dr. Heffron, Dr. Rovic. So we're gonna cover palpating the pubic symphysis. Pubic symphysis is where your pubic bones all come together um, and it's separated by a very, very small piece of cartilage that's almost like this, the meniscus in your knee. Um, when we get into women's health and the pelvic girdle later this term, this will become a very important place that you need to work on palpating. It's also a very sensitive place when it comes to palpating. Um, so you need to have a good rapport with your patient, number one, um, and always, always ask permission and tell them what you're going to do. So, Dr. Heffron, I'm going to palpate this bone right here where your pelvis comes together. Is that okay? It is. All right. Don't press too hard. I have to go pee. Okay. okay. Noted. <laughs> so, just like we've done with everything else, you're going to come up and find your iliac crest first. Then, with the heel of your hand, so this part of your hand, and your fingertips pointing up towards the patient's face, you're gonna start where it, an imaginary line connecting the ASIS is. You'll start there and slowly, oh, she really does have to go, <laughs> and slowly work your way down until you feel a hard ridge. That's the pubic symphysis. Now, from here, this is the only point in which you will ever use point finger touch with palpating your patient. What you're gonna do is get on either pubic tubercle, and from here, you can appreciate if one side is higher or lower, if one side is more, um, more prominent than the other, or if they seem to be further apart than what you would anticipate. A normal distance is about nine millimeters. So if you are good at spatial relationships, which I am not, you'll know that. From here, you can kind of lay your hand on the patient's belly, and your middle finger will come right up to their umbilicus. At that point, you can palpate just a little bit, which I won't very much because Dr. Heffron has a full bladder. <laughs> and you can appreciate the rectus abdominis. When we get into pregnancy and postpartum in your second year, this is a great place to look for something called diastasis recti, which is where the abdominal wall separates during pregnancy. And that's also trail guide number five in your book.